was the worst that could happen? I'll try to not answer that question. Yeah, no matter the outcome, there will be more corpses. True. <laughs> What's up with the Archon? Alright. Yeah, so 16 to 18. I'm going to assume it might be 18. So let's be careful. We can set up on the building. I'm on the move. We've got an enemy. Oh, yeah, there we go. Uh, Necromancer Veteran. I uh, didn't quite catch it there, but I saw it had a pretty big health pole. Okay. Wait, this is in detection radius of the tower? I guess so. Advanced armored trooper, okay. Good to know. Let's just get everyone to the high ground here. Anyone else with enough mobility? And just one person. Rolling out. Everyone's concealed, right? Yes. Just double checking. Solid copy. Rolling out. Holding position. All right. Oh, hi. Uh, that's a pretty big group. What are you guys doing here? You're not supposed to be on the roof? Hostiles making the round. Only I'm supposed to be here. Okay. Is this even one group? I don't know. It's a big one. Amazing target for a grenade. I'm a little bit out of position to do this right now. It's still tempting. Unfortunately, I don't have the plasma grenade in this group. I don't really have a good way to open here. No, not really. What I need is have them move to the low ground. That's what I need. Might be best to just move into better positions for now. I'm not in a rush to engage these guys. I'm really not. Moving to designated position. I can't even send anyone else up here. Not right now, anyway. Moving on target location. I'm on the move. That's affirmative. Orders confirmed. Moving out. Okay, let's just chill for one turn here. Reflexes, 81%. 12% chance to recover all action points. That's probably not gonna happen. But there's a chance. Alright, I'm leaving the Archon here, I think. So let's just overwatch here and wait for them to move. Yep. I need them to move to the low ground. It's best if they end their turn like on this side of the building here. This is where I need them to go. Yep, yep. Keep moving. Keep moving. <laughs> Did you see that shit? Did you see that animation there? On that specter? What the heck is he doing? He looks very confused right now. I'm not a big fan of this mission having a specter though. Not gonna lie. Okay, this is my chance to set up. I wish I had more space. Uh, the two mechs are still up here, so that's why. Okay. I assume they will jump down, but they might not. They might not. Alright, let's wait one more turn. It's not like we have a timer or anything like that. Position confirmed. We can take our time. Not that much point using steady weapon here, but all right. 50% shutdown chance. The problem is that once I start fighting them, there's a good chance I will also trigger the spot on the left. With the necromancer. They are moving back now. That's annoying. That's unfortunate. 
Grenading a distal max might not be a terrible way to open, but I still don't like it. Man, this is not great. I can get more people up, however, so that's good. That's what we want. I need a good ambush here. In a mission with up to 18 enemies, I need a good ambush, so I'm not going to rush this. Now they're moving left. Okay. I just need them to move a little bit further away from the building. And more enemies. Yeah, okay. I have a bad feeling about this mission. I don't want to fight all of this shit at the same time, alright? Yeah, and if I attack from the left side of the building, I will fight three pods all at the same time. That would be terrible. That would be really, really bad. We should definitely not do that. I wish there was more cover up here. Position confirmed. Yeah, I wish there was more cover here. Okay, let's get Rocky up here. I could get Archon up here. I need the two moves to get the Archon to a different elevation. Two actions, rather. So let's get you up here. Okay, well, hopefully this is going to work out the way I need it to work out. Uh, this is the Ambush Advent Shrub Column mission. With 16 to 18 baseline activity. Okay, now they're coming towards me. I think I'll have to attack them soon. Man, okay, I really don't want to fight this pod as well. This will be like 10 enemies all in one go. If not more than that. That's not good. And now I can't move. I actually can't move from here. Oh, oh wait. Oh shit. Oh, the game is really taunting me right now. Oh shit. Man. The game is daring me to shoot that tank right now. That's what he's doing. That's extremely tempting. That is so tempting. And I can do it with a friggin' laser pistol. Damn it. I'm going to regret this, won't I? I'm probably going to regret this. Do I want Overwatch on anyone? Maybe on the Archon. Maybe on Rocky. Well, he can also hack, but 70% shutdown, okay. Mad Judge. Oh, I could move over here and then overwatch. That looks safe. Okay. Overwatch. Crispy Goth. I have a feeling I'm going to regret this. The problem is that we're on the roof, so... If they blow up the roof, I'm going to take fall damage. That's the problem. This is especially the problem with the mechs. The problem with this gas tank is that it won't actually kill anything. Okay, it might kill one or two enemies. If I wait any longer, they will move away. This is my only chance to do it this way. This is almost definitely my only chance. I'm too far away for a grenade. And I can't move. Let's go. Alright, let's go everyone. Looks like we killed the snake, nice. And I know we're destroying some of the corpses this way, but right now I'm more concerned about actually doing this mission successfully. Where's your weapon, bro? Kill the mechs. Got one, nice. Alright. Okay. We have cookies. A flame viper. I could cyclic fire his ass. That's an option. I only have one target for Taro here. He's k like kind of exposed. But at the same time, he's pretty far away from anything else. So it should be fine. In theory. 
I can always give him aid protocol. What's the chance here again? 89%, 6 to 11 damage. Would be nice to kill that snake. Got it, nice. Okay. There's a specter below us, which might be a problem. So I can fire three shots at this flame viper right now. Or I can fire two shots with 68%. I can also fire a shot and then use suppressing fire. Suppressing fire fires a regular shot and it does not if it does not kill the target, it suppresses them. But it all uses free ammunition. I only have two people left right now. So not a lot of options. And there's a shot from here. At the mech and at the flame viper. I can actually hug the mech. 70% shutdown. Let's get it. Okay, let's shut that. 61. Let's try to shut it down. Nope, they didn't get it. That sucks. That sucks. Got it. Nice. I technically still have command, but it might be best to move into cover. If only I knew what they are going to do. I really don't like the specter here. It might be best to use command and then move into cover. I think cookies had uh, whatever it's called. And the PCS that makes it not die. I can't check that anywhere, can I? I gave that to one of my officers. I'm pretty sure that was him. How far can I throw this flashbang? Uh, not as far as I'd like. Well, I can flashbang the specter. Which might not be a bad idea. It might actually not be a bad idea. I'm considering it. I could also just overwatch. But that won't achieve much. Or I could move into full cover. With cookies. There's a priest over here. I will be in range of the priest if I go here. And the gunner. I just don't want them to target Taro, alright? That's the thing. Somebody will be like out of cover up here. No matter what I do. Either Kokis or Taro. Because if I use command, that will end my turn. If I move into cover right now, well, well obviously my turn is over. This looks like a good spot, though. I will be out of view of all of them. Sure. Alright, let's move into cover here. Hopefully he'll be fine. It was a pretty good way to open. Okay, teleport. That's just cheating. Cover the flex. Okay, that's cheating. Okay. Yeah, that guy needs to die. Here comes the mech. Yep. Missiles. That was to be expected. A lot of people will be chilled right now. I think it was a better idea to just boss this mission. Yeah, Intel boasting this mission was a better way to go, I think. Because there are some really dangerous enemies here right now. So a lot of people are chilled right now. And I'm also area suppressed. Not ideal. Not ideal, no. I don't have two shots on cookies and he ignores armor because he has AP rounds. So he should take out the mech. I could in theory... Okay, so I could in theory cyclic fire the specter here. But it's only 61%. And a pretty high chance to graze. We're better off taking out the mech first. They didn't even kill it right now. Really? Six damage? That's disappointing. That is actually really disappointing. Heading out. I'm almost considering smoke grenade here right now. I'm actually considering it. It is actually not a terrible idea. 
I could have clownfish here and killed a mech. I really don't like this Spectre, especially now that I know he can teleport. I don't have a good way to kill him. A grenade here might work. Okay, a grenade here might actually be good. It's not guaranteed to kill the mech though, not even close. Not even close, no. So that's a problem. What can the Archon do? 98%. Uh, okay, let's take out the mech. Uh, I could stun the Spectre. That might be best. That might actually be best if I stun the Spectre. Not only that, I have unlimited power, which means firing the Arc Thrower will not end my turn, but I have to move to flank it anyway. Okay. Hey, what do we do with this shit? Hey, good question. I might just have to trigger that suppression here with the hoplite or something. That's kind of his job. And then I could use Bolsai on the Spectre. That reduces its aim, defense, and will for the rest of the mission. Like, literally, for the rest of the mission. By 20, if I remember correctly? Pretty sure it's by 20. So... That might be the best moment to use that. That's what I'm thinking. Alright, I'm going to eat this suppression here. And jump down right here. I'm pretty sure this AoE won't get me if I stand here. And obviously I want to cover. And then we can ball side the Spectre. Okay, let's go. Did he hit? No, he missed. Nice. Now we can ball side the Spectre, that's guaranteed. Cryo Priest. Advent Gunner. Psy Zombie, alright. Okay, we even got a crit. Now he has minus 20 defense. Yep, it's minus 20 aim, defense, and I think will. Yeah, he had 100, now he has 80. And that's for the rest of the mission, not just for like one turn. Now I have a 91% chance to hit him. If I get lucky, I might actually be able to kill him. I can try to stun or I can just try to kill him. I have a decent chance to kill him. I think we should just try to kill him. That minus 20 defense is huge. That's actually massive. Okay, that's huge. I have several shots I can take against him. Even like Crispy God can take a shot from the high ground here. This is outside of the AoE. 84%. Okay, he's at one health. You're going down. And just need to figure out the best way to kill him. I would prefer to keep the corpse here, so... I would also prefer to not get shot. Probably just take a regular shot. That's 91%. Worst case scenario, I can kill him with combat protocol. Yep. Just take a shot. He dead. Technically, I could kill that priest with two combat protocols right here, but he would probably get sustained. Alright. So, steady weapon. What was this again? A failed hack in, will result in all enemies gaining defense. <laughs> Oh, yeah, the whole screen is shaking because of that suppression. Okay, that's actually pretty funny. At least there's no sound. But that's actually pretty funny. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. I can't get line of sight to shoot his ass, unfortunately. If I want to move out of this AoE, 
I should probably just dash in this direction. Yep. Okay. I don't know if I'll be getting this load. We'll see. There's still a sector here I can flank. On my way. I won't kill him. But maybe we can do some good damage. Maybe I'll kill him. There's a non-zero chance. Yeah, we did kill him. Nice. That was what? 28% crit? Nice. Man, that was a very good turn. And we're not even done yet, technically. Alright, let's just overwatch. That was a really good turn. We only got the priest, the gunner and the zombie left right now. Out of active enemies. This gunner needs to die. Piss off. There's also loot on the low ground. That's from the Flame Viper earlier. We can get some of the loot. And I fell to the ground. And we triggered a group. Of course we did. The gunner blew up the floor I was standing on. Nice shot. A trick shot. Okay. Well then. We have two piles of loot that will go away on the next turn. I don't think anyone can get this one with a blow move. No. They definitely cannot do that. Can I get line of sight here? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yep. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, now what? Can Taro shoot anything? Probably not. Nope. Uh, cookies. He's still chilled. Okay. Well, obviously I can kill the Necromancer. Absolutely. Okay, let's kill the Necromancer first. I don't know if I'll be getting this lot. There's still a gunner out here. One thing I could do, okay, I could use Oscar Mike. And that might allow me to get the load with a blow move. I'm still not entirely convinced though. And I don't know if this works across elevations. So if I use Oscar Mike right now, I don't know if Cyberman will get it. Or these people on the roof. They should in theory. Yes, they did. Nice. Okay. I can indeed get it. Nice. Alarium core crystallized melt. That was probably worth it. Now I have a grenade. So there's still a gunner on the left. And we can even grab this one. Yep, also with the blue move. Nice. And probably shoot the gunner on the low ground. Seems doable. There's the gunner and the priest. Uh, 66 and 69 percent. The gunner is more dangerous than the priest. Let's try to hit the gunner. Yep, got it. Nice. We got two active enemies, meaning the trooper and the priest. Okay. And there's still one more pod somewhere. Right, I can show the, the trooper from the flank, but that might not kill him. Maybe grenade is the best idea here. Okay, let's throw a grenade, then we can jump down and shoot him. Yep. Now I can actually guarantee a kill with the gunner. Just don't trigger any enemies, thank you. There we go, now he's... 82%? Seriously? Okay, I was almost expecting this to miss. All right. Oh, we can set up with a sniper shot. Nice. And grab the lot on the next turn. Yeah, so again, there's still a pod somewhere. And we don't know where exactly. Because this is 16 to 18 and this is 14 enemies. Here comes the priest. 
Now we can snipe him. Bye bye. Well, the hard part is definitely done. Steady weapon again. Get the loot. So now there's one more pod somewhere. Oh yeah, there it is. That might be the last two enemies. Technically, there might still be one more pod with two. Because this is anywhere between 16 and 18. Uh, can we kill either of them right now? Possibly. Two damage. Uh, let's not set ourselves on fire, shall we? Not a problem. Uh, Barney is pretty close to uh, the next promotion here. And he's a tech sergeant. Nice shot. Alright, this should be the last enemy, but again, it might not be. This is a shotgun, so it will be a terrible shot. Zero. We can try to stun him, though. This is where the arc thrower is useful. The shotgun gets a penalty for range. The arc thrower does not. There we go. We stunned him, so he's been neutralized for one turn. Alright. Now we can dash. And there's still one more pile of load here. Not a problem. Asset secure. Focus and underbarrel shotgun. All right. This was an interesting mission. All right, let's finish it. Are we done? Did you see that one? Nope, see, there are still two more enemies. Because it's 18, not 16. Alright, alright. Move away from that hole in the roof. There was also one zombie earlier. Which means we might be like one over uh, the normal limit. I might just like chill and wait on the roof. It's not like we're in a rush or anything like that. There should be the noise indicator in a few turns. Then we'll know which general direction they're in. It could still be like two mutons or something nasty like that. So I'm not going to take an unnecessary risk. Okay, I assume they are in this direction, but that might not be the case. Come on, give me some indication which direction they're in. Or not. Not here. This is the zone wall. I'm guessing they are probably here-ish. Eh, probably. Come on, give me a sign. There they are. Flame Viper, Mutant Harrier. Okay, two Vipers. Alright. So this was indeed 18 enemies total. Plus a zombie. Nice shot. Yep, can we kill the Mutant? No. Flame Viper, of course. Two Flame Vipers, are you kidding me? Piss off. Piss off with these snakes. It's not one, but two friggin' flame vipers. And these things are really dangerous. One down. Thousands to go. Six to eleven, okay. Hold on. Yeah, this will be zero because shotgun, but we can try a stun. Nope, not this time. 
Not this time. 77%. Got it. Alright, we're almost done now. We're almost done. Now we're definitely done. Nice. Status confirmed. Mission Flame Viper corpses are fantastic though. What are they used for? Well, that's two Flame Viper corpses. Seeding rounds, alright. Alright, promotions. A gunnery sergeant, nice. That's the first gunnery sergeant on the roster now. Command your gremlin to move to a designated area. He grants allies in that area a bonus to defense until the start of the next player turn. Okay. Provides all of the same benefits as aid protocol. Okay, so it's an AOE aid protocol. All gremlin abilities gain additional charge. I kind of like an AOE aid protocol. I don't know how large of an area we're talking about. Like how many tiles wide. More charges of combat protocol probably wouldn't hurt. And medical protocol. Yeah, supercharge might be more useful for things like a chosen stronghold assault. So I might actually get extra charges. Okay, I assume this will also work for medical protocol and combat protocol. Because the description is like from a different class. Because this is just a specialist. It's not a dragoon. But I assume it will work with medical protocol and combat protocol. Otherwise, why would it be here in the first place? And I can also get shield protocol from XCOM points. And even the rescue protocol. Yeah, so potentially I could have four gremlin abilities on this guy. If I pick up shield protocol and the rescue protocol. Alright, I think I'll take it. I'll take it. Next. That's going to be dead eye. And for the Archon, a burial shot, probably. Yep. Well, okay, I don't know, because Cyrus Bomber is kind of hilarious. So with Omen, Blazing Pinions no longer ends the turn when used, even if, it, if it's used with a dash move. And with Cyrus Bomber, Blazing Pinions no longer has a cooldown. So that's kind of hilarious. You can potentially use Blazing Pinions every single turn with this. Burial Shot is always good. But this is kind of a hilarious combo. Yeah, more explosions. Valen would not be pleased. Okay, what the heck, I think I might take Serious Bomber. That sounds hilarious. Blazing Pinions now inflicts burning on any targets that are hit by it, as well as igniting terrain, okay? Alright, what the heck, let's get Serious Bomber. There, done. One more promotion for Mad Judge. Uh, grants two additional shield protocol charges. I don't like that. I like all three abilities here in Surgeon Rank. Blinding Fire is basically an AoE minus 15 aim debuff. And it debuffs the targets even if you miss. So this is pretty nice. But two more charges on shield protocol are also nice. And the Trojan is pretty good as well. I think I'll take Blinding Fire. It's a granted debuff. You don't have to be relatively close. But it's a granted AoE debuff. Doesn't say anything about cooldown, so in theory, maybe you can use this every turn. Alright, I'll take Blinding Fire. Wounded 10 days. Here's the loot. So here are all the corpses we got. So three flame viper corpses, one regular viper corpse, a mech, two mechs, one specter corpse, two sectoid corpses, one bio trooper, two troopers, one cryo priest, one selatid, one advanced assault trooper, and one muton. Very nice. Also 33 supplies. And a bunch of mods. And a data pod. Very nice mission. Now we can do advent make breakdown.
and Spectre Autopsy. Nice. Okay. Frostbomb 7 hours, training center 10 hours. So now we reduce the strain in the region by 1. Yeah, I think it also increased at the same time. Because it's back to 4. Well, anyway, uh, this is Liberation 3. So that will be next. We can probably liberate New Brazil. Probably in early August or so. I don't think we can do it in July. But I think we can do it in August. I need to hurry up if I want to do it. <laughs> Vigilance 13? Yeah, okay, bro. Only two in New Chile. When is the next supply drop? Four days. Okay. That should be a pretty big one. And we're researching Alarium. So, I should have coiled weapons by the end of August, easily. Maybe even by the end of July, if I can get enough materials. However, we're closing in on seven hours now. That's going to be it for today. I really need to get some food and like just rest a little bit. Uh, but thanks for coming today, everyone. I appreciate you hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I will see you next time.